wanted to continue the previous video. Um, so now back to the watch. Um, the watch itself is uh, made of a steel case, but the core, which you will be able to see here from the sides, is titanium. So the weight of the watch is actually quite uh, low considering its size. It's a, a large watch, about 45 millimeters. Um, the dial is a sandwich style dial, so the luminous area is underneath the main dial. The lower dial, where you see the white uh, dial with the Equus writing, has been uh, finished with Geneva stripes. Um, that is extremely hard to capture in a video. Um, I will try, but forgive me if I can't. And um, yeah, so this watch has been made 100% in Switzerland. Um, so everything is really on top standards. Basically, this is a very fine watch, although it looks very rugged, and it is very rugged. This is the case back. You can see the movement. The movement is a Valgorange. It's based on a 7750, it's just stripped uh, by the chronograph function. Um, it's nicely finished. You see the writing of Equis Varios Limited and um, some more information. It's a self-winding movement, as you saw. Um, really nicely done. Something I personally liked a lot on this watch is the crown. It has absolutely fantastic grip. It's a very unique crown. I've never seen anything like it anywhere. Um, you see the different color of steel and titanium here. The titanium core is much darker than the steel. This is the other side without the crown. Uh, to show you. It, the titanium actually has these fine stripes there engraved. It really, it's actually quite deep. Um, it's amazing work, shows the high finishing of this watch.